This video is brought to you by the work of Nathan Van Vranken and Clint Boyd, the extremely talented artist and animator Lex Fonseca, my lovely patrons and viewers like you. Thank you. Hell Creek was a horrendous place. Well, more so a region over a specific period of time, but whatever. The Hell Creek Formation is a layer of rock which captures what life was like in Central and North Central North America at the very tail end of the Cretaceous period. Tyrannosaurus, Triceratops, Ankylosaurus, Edmontosaurus, blah blah blah. So many words have been spilled on this ecosystem because it's one of the most completely known, and that's rare to see. There are of course the late Jurassic Morton formation, the Cretaceous Dinosaur Park formation, as well as every single Lagerstaaten deposit the world over, but Hell Creek holds a lot of people's attentions due to the Tyrant Lizard King, Emperor Turtle Dragon, and Handsome Horned Himbo. Even with so much known about the Hell Creek, much, much more is yet to be found and yet to be described. One new piece of the puzzle has finally been published after years of rumors and assumptions. Nathan Van Vranken and Clint Boyd have recently published on fossil material belonging to a mosasaur of some kind coming out of Hell Creek rocks. Clint Boyd, curator of the North Dakota State Fossil Collection, and his institution have a great working relationship with the local landowner. That landowner has allowed them access to multiple dig sites, usually containing dinosaur or mammal fossils. Boyd got a call that the landowner had found a vertebra they wanted to bring in. According to Boyd, they brought in that fossil in a plastic bag and handed it over for inspection. Expecting a mammal or dinosaur fossil, Boyd was excited to find the backbone of a mosasaur. Any number of species of a short-lived lineage of marine reptiles related to snakes and monitor lizards from the Cretaceous. What was weird about the vertebra had everything to do with its context, rather than the bone itself. The rocks around the landowner's property are all Hell Creek Formation rocks dating from 67 to 66 million years ago, or Paleocene-aged rocks, so right after the KT mass extinction. The landowner took the scientists out to where he found the fossil, which happened to be a little outcrop of light gray mud and sandstone. The vertebra was found loose at the bottom of the outcrop. The uppermost part of that outcrop belongs to a layer of rock within the Hell Creek called the Brayen Member. This sliver of rock represents the last stretch of the Western Interior Seaway, a once grand slash of ocean that gouged a knife-shaped wound through the entirety of North America from stem to stern. By this time in the rocks, the Inland Sea had receded, but this Brayen member was the last vestige. The Mosasaur vertebra wasn't the only evidence that this layer belonged to the sea, as Boyd and company found some shrimp burrows and shark teeth too. To be sure that Mosasaur bone came from the Brayen member, Boyd and company had to get to that layer and search for more Mosasaur bones. They found some scraps of bone poking out of a sandy exposure in the prairie grass. These fossils weren't great as plants had invaded the pores in the bones with their roots. The excavation was slow and difficult, but the team got the bone excavated, prepared, and taken out of the field and to the lab. The team gave the landowner first dibs on preparing the specimen once it got back to the lab. And once they'd done all they could, the team fixed it up the rest of the way, only to find that the bone belonged to the lower jaw of a large mosasaur. Mosasaurs in Hell Creek are pretty much unheard of, so its presence opens up a new understanding of the ecosystem dynamics of the area through time. The bones themselves are too vague to apply it to an existing species and genus, or to its own unique one, so it's just referred to as the Hell Creek Mosasaur. Given its time, size, and place, it could possibly belong to Mosasaurus itself, or another Mosasaur, Prognathodon, but it's definitely not from the longer snooted Tylosaur type Mosasaurs. Unfortunately for anyone thinking we can now have scenes of Tyrannosaurs hunting down or living side by side with Mosasaurs, the mosasaur bones were found in marine rocks, so likely didn't interact with the tyrant lizard super frequently. However, it almost definitely happened from time to time. 
the perpetually in development, ultra scientifically accurate walking simulator known as Saurian, implemented a large mosasaur in their game a long while ago. It acts as a border guard to keep the player from wandering off the map and into the sea. The mosasaur in the game was modeled with guidance from Nathan Van Vranken, who is also a Western Interior Seaway expert. Though, I doubt the Hell Creek Mosasaur fossils now being published were known at the inception of the Mosasaur for the game, as it is now 8 years in development with little to show for it. Mosasaurs were expected to have lived near the area at the time of Tyrannosaurus due to their presence in other rocks throughout North America, Europe, and Africa, all the way up to the marker of the KT extinction. Something tells me these guys could survive a quick jaunt into fresh water to snack on some landlubbers. For more interesting stories about nature, the history of life, or what goes bump in the night, subscribe, hit the bell icon for updates, like this video, and drop a comment in the comment section below. Thanks for watching. This video is partially brought to you by my lovely patrons. Pledge to that Patreon at any tier you like for many delicious offerings, like art, behind the scenes content, special discord roles, and some physical products that will be revealed in the near future. Special thanks to my elephant tier patrons, Thea Svensson, Staniforth Hopkins, Dinosaur, and Arda Bayer, as well as my Tyrannosaurus tier patrons, Henry Brennan, Danny Van Heck, Dana Manchester, Chris Frampton, and Admin.